Hey guys, James O'Hare here, and welcome to the to the second last day of Games Miss. Yeah, it's all going by so fast. So, how do we cap off to celebrate? By reviewing The Grinch. Now, this was meant to coincide with the 2000 movie, and it was also published by Konami. You know, the same guys that made Contra. So, let's see what's in store for The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Oh, that's not the official title. It's just The Grinch. The Grinch. Short and simple. I like it. The title screen has one of the most scarily good music I have ever heard. It's creepy, but effective. Anyway, it's the classic story, you know, the Grinch hates the Who's with a burning passion. Yeah, as you can probably tell, this is based off the either the original or the 2000 remake. Well, seeing as this was released in 2000, it's probably going to be based off the remake. You know, starring Jim Carrey. However, the Grinch isn't voiced by him! At least I don't think so. Anyway, it's the classic Grinch stuff, you know, he hates the Who's. You can actually skip the cutscene, and for the sake of this review, I'm actually going to skip the cutscene. So, oh, I mean, his expressions are great, but it's boring watching this. So, I'll just skip it. What's with the slime effects? It just devours the entire screen. I mean, really? Okay, very dark compelling. I don't understand what the slime is all about. And it's green slime, because I guess the Grinch is green. Eh? First minutes of gameplay and instantly I'm thrown into, into a tutorial. Jump or pancake what? You call that a pancake? It's more of a bot bounce. Yeah, and so you're jumping on boxes to get to the next level, to find the key. Kawabunga, dudes! The Grinch controls... okay, I guess. I'm, when using the analog, he doesn't really work as well. He does a U-turn sometimes. But, you know, when you use the D-pad, he... You know, the, the controls feel a little bit tight. I mean, he's, he's responsive, but whenever you try to make a turn, he does a U-turn, which sucks. You unlock the door. Oh, jolly. Now we come across the seashell. Okay, this is on the top of Mount Crumpet. There oh, no. There's cutscenes in between the tutorials. Have you ever seen a tutorial with a cutscene? And, yeah. The minute you see a tutorial with cutscenes, you already know it's going to be bad news. Uh, how do I move this? I'm pressing triangle. Nothing happens. What's going on? Hello? Hello? You can also play as the Grinch's dog, Max, which is pretty fun and cool. You select characters by pressing the select button. He can basically go through holes and do all the stuff that the Grinch normally wouldn't do. But guess what? You still need to use the Grinch in order to unlock the door. And guess what? They're separated by a cutscene! Why a cutscene? I don't know. Bad breath? Okay. So the machines are jabbering on you like an idiot. Blah, 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 blah. And then you open a door. Ooh, I wonder where it goes. To reveal a lever. A levered platform. Separated by a cutscene. What do you know? That lever actually leads you to the main hub area where you can select levels. So that tutorial was just the hub area? Anyway, let's go to level one. <laughs> More slime. Whoop did. Upon entering each level, you get a book telling you what to do. What any relevance this has to the game? Uh, I have no clue. Ha! Ah, I rhymed. Anyway, it also has this the pause screen. So we're in downtown Whoville. The graphics look kind of cool. Anyway, oh, 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 oh! The hoos look terrifying. They look more awful than the movie. Ugh. And these don't look like who's. They look like plain ass human beings. So, and they hug the Grinch. Are you kidding me? What? And you have to collect presents. Okay. Uh, doesn't the Grinch steal Christmas, you know, at night? Uh, stop hugging me, kid. I'm not, I'm not a free hugging spree. Get off me. Get off me, kid. Seriously, why are the who's hugging the Grinch? Imagine walking down the, down a street and then someone grabs and hugs you and a complete stranger kid just grabs and hugs you like, get away! That must be one creepy neighborhood. 
Also, I begin to question the idea of who's hugging the Grinch. Aren't the Who's, you know, supposed to be um, afraid of him? Has any of the people who worked on this movie, this game, actually seen the movie or the remake? Who's are afraid of the Grinch? Enough said. In some of the levels, you'll even come this rotten, pulsing plan. That's so disgusting. So I can't grab it. So that's basically what the gameplay offers. So, but wait, why can't I get this present? There's a music box playing. Let me get the present. Let me get it. Let me get the present. I jumped on it like, did you just throw snowballs at me? If there was an opportunity to kill the Who's, I would gladly do it. But anyway, you're just running around and jumping on stuff. You can even play his dog's Matt, Max, but in this level, he does nothing but grab the presents, which is pretty cool. But he can run into them. So if he can run into the presents lickety split, why is it that this one present can't be hit? Look, I'm going straight through it. What is going on? You know what? I've had enough. The Grinch gets a 7 out of 10. It's not bad, and it's definitely above mediocre, but there are some things that could have been improved. Now, I put up a poll last, last episode where, where I put Superman 64 vs. E.T. for the Atari 2600, and I even went to my Instagram, and my god, the response. Superman 64, Superman 64, Superman 64, Superman... The majority of you guys wanted Superman 64, and I'll leave you in this run, one rhyme. Well, I have to choose what was most voted for, so the last episode of Gamesmas is going to be Superman 64. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. And I'd like to give a big shout-out to my notification squad. Peace. Whoop.